All right, today we are gonna take a look at my microwave because the turntable in our microwave stopped working. This is a GE microwave that has the feature to be able to enable or disable the turntable in case you have a plate that is too large um, and, but it's not working at all. This method of troubleshooting will probably be applicable for a lot of different microwaves. So if you don't have a microwave like this and your turntable is not working, um, hopefully this should help you be able to solve your problem. So I'm gonna attempt to do this by keeping the microwave in place, and that may work for me. I've taken the little filter off. It just slides right in. And then we'll just remove these bottom screws here. I have the Philips Hue light strip on here and I can, I'm just gonna disconnect one side, but I'll turn those off first. Disconnect the connector here. I'm just gonna let it sag down a little bit. This is a motor right here that we're going to test. This is a 21 volt AC motor, alternating current. I'm just gonna disconnect the connector from the motor here. So I've taken the cable, just set it down here, and then I'll just put in one screw back here. So I've got a um, the leads from the motor coming down and um, out, of the, out of the motor housing, or the microwave housing, and what I have Connected is a little tester here. This is actually a handheld um, oscilloscope. This is a Hantac 2D72. A big shout out to my brother Mark for getting this for me for Christmas. This is a really cool little tool here. And I'm looking for an AC signal. And so I'm gonna turn the microwave on. Looks like 60 Hertz noise there while it's connected without power on. So let's turn my microwave on. Let's get it turned on. Level one. All right, so we do. We've got an AC signal there. It looks like it would be about, um, should be right around 21 volt, the motor says. And um, so with, I've got 10 volts per division. So 10, 20, um, 30 couple volts and usually that's an RMS voltage. So that looks good. I'm going to turn the turntable off and we'll see what that does. So here's turntable off and it does. It turns off the power to the motor. Now if you don't have one of these handy oscilloscopes, you should totally get one. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below. Actually, that's not really what I was going to say. If you don't have one of the an oscilloscope, you can also use a multimeter. So I'll connect the leads to the motor. We've got 24, 24 volts. Turn it off. We're down to about one volt. Well, so it looks like it's working pretty good. I think we can say that the motor should be getting power, but the motor's not spinning. That makes me think the motor is no good. Yo. Hey, you wouldn't believe it. So I was gonna just replace my uh, little microwave motor here. I've got four of them in the garage, but they're all 120 volt motors. This one's a 21 volt motor. Hmm. Do you happen to have a 21 volt motor? Yeah, I'll check. Okay. I have another motor in the garage from various microwaves I've taken apart. And I look at the winding, the winding resistance is about 123 ohms. As I'm looking at this motor, I'm just looking at it right now, it actually looks incredibly similar to the motor I have. Housing's the same. It doesn't have a sticker, but I can kind of see through the sticker and the features are really similar on it. Even the little S marking on it is the same. So I'm willing to try this. Let's just plug it in. All right, it's turning. Turn table off, stops turning. Turn table back on. All right. We'll insert the motor into the shaft until it grabs and then turn it in place and then I'll reinstall the one screw right here.
All right, and we are turning. If you guys don't have a um, motor for your microwave in your garage, then I'll leave a link in the description below for this particular microwave's motor. It's a 21 volt AC motor. A lot of microwaves have 120 volt motors, so make sure you check that. It should be a very similar troubleshooting method and replacement method for those motors as well. Um, so thanks for watching and um, we'll see you again next time.